Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing classification of systems for both continuous time and district time. Systems are classified as a static or dynamic system, then linear or non-linear system, causal or non-causal system, time variant or non-variant or time invariant system, stable or unstable system, invertible or non-invertible system. So first, let's see what do you mean by static and dynamic systems. Static systems or it is also called as a memoryless system. A continuous time and district time system whose present output y of t or y of n in case of district depends on present input and not on past or future input or output of the system. Means what? Let's take an example, resistive circuit. Resistance is a memoryless element. If you find the voltage or current across resistor, V of T is equal to R I of T. That is, when you want to find voltage across resistor at any instant of time, it depends upon what is the present current into the register. So present output depends on present input. Not related to what is the past current flows through the register. It depends upon what is the present current flows through the register. Then dynamic system or it is also called as a system with memory. The continuous time and district time system whose present output depends on the value of present input as well as the input or output at other times. Means what? Let's take an example RL circuit or RC circuit. Inductor and capacitor are memory storing element. If you check the relation between voltage and current across the capacitor, it is V of t is equal to 1 upon c minus infinity to t i of t. Means this voltage across capacitor for present instant of time t, it depends upon whatever the previous current flows through the inductor from minus infinity to t. So your output depends on, upon present input plus previous states of the input. That's why this system is called as a dynamic system. Let's take more example of static and dynamic system. Static system, y of t output depends upon x of t plus 3 x square t. That is present input and present input square. So here present output depends upon present input only. Uh, you can check put y t is equal to 0 y of 0 is equal to x of 0 plus 3 x square 0. So at t is equal to 0, your output y of 0 depends upon present time means x of 0 and x square of 0. So t remains same for input and output. That means your present output depends upon present input only. Not related to the previous output or previous input. In this case, this is continuous time system, this is district time system. Y of n is equal to x of n plus 3 e raised to x of n. In this case also, this e raised to operation is on a amplitude. So, time is same in the output and input. For present output, it depends upon present input. And here also it is present input. So this output depends upon present input only. So this is static system. Here y of n is equal to 10 x of n. This 10 operation on amplitude not on any time factor. So present output depends upon present input only. That's why this system is static system. Let's take example dynamic system y of t is equal to differentiation 
x of t. Differentiation, we know that it is the difference between present and the previous value. That means output depends upon present input plus previous input also. Here y of n is equal to x of twice n. There is an operation on n time factor. You can check. Suppose n is equal to 1. y of 1 is equal to x of 2 into 1, 2. So y of 1 is equal to x of 2. So your output at t is equal to 1 depends upon input at t is equal to 2. That means present output depends upon future input. So this is dynamic. In this case, y of n is equal to summation k varies from 0 to 4 x of n minus k. Let's put the value of k. k is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So y of n is equal to x of k is equal to 0 x of n plus k is equal to 1 x of n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 x of n minus 4. You can check here output depends upon present input plus previous outputs also. That's why this system is dynamic system. In short, we can say a continuous time system which is expressed by differential equation or integration or delay element are dynamic systems. The district time system which is expressed as a difference equation, this is called as a difference equation, is called a dynamic system. So, in case of static system, output depends upon present input only. In case of dynamic system, output depends upon present input or previous input or both. So, this is about static and dynamic system classification. Thank you.